We have had a report from West Fulton High School, uh, mostly a Negro uh, precinct at this moment. Welker has 427 there and low 18. to the board as it is, with 47% of the precincts having, and with a great majority of the metro precincts having checked in. I guess the old cliche of how do you feel isn't quite appropriate here, but is there anything that you have on your heart that you'd like to say? Well, the first thing I want to there's never been a single incident, no threats, nothing done to my family. I've been extremely gratified by the reception I've had from the people of this state. I have lost this battle numerically. I've lost um, the battle for the vote. Uh, and I am, however, more grieved, I think, for the people of Georgia who were denied, um, unfortunately, because of some irregularities, an opportunity to cast their vote and to make known their, their pleasure. However, I want it to be known that I am a Democrat. And I will support those who, in my opinion, are, uh, are people with whom I can closely align myself because of policies, the liberal policies. Powerful, but he could not be challenged and could not be made to be more responsive to the people. Uh, Senator Talmadge is a man to whom I send my congratulations tonight. I think also I want to just add one thing more, and that is that um, I know now that in Georgia, there will be a new day. It will be a day which is shown, I think, by a new alignment of voters in the years to come. Because I think my candidacy, if it has done nothing else, has shown clearly that in Georgia, there is a chance for a change. It is a change from the old politics, the unresponsiveness, uh, to setting an example of possibility for the entire nation. Campaigned literally all over Georgia. About uh, 600 people out of rally that night in a driving rainstorm. Uh, the place was chosen because it was um, one of the few that was available, and because of very limited financial circumstances, we have not been able to hire the kinds of places we wanted to everywhere we went. However, we went to Rome in the Rome Civic Center. We expected 250 people there, and close to 500 showed up, 45% white. Uh, and went to Carrollton, Georgia, the Carroll County Courthouse. And I think the audience was about half white and half Negro. And went to Athens, Georgia, the University of Georgia Law School Auditorium. And the audience, I think, was predominantly white there, standing room only. Uh, in LaGrange, Georgia, on the square, there must have been close to 1,000 people there, I guess, a couple of weeks ago. All right, I, I, I get it. You right. win on that one. OK. <laughs> <laughs> now let me ask you. For instance, Mr. Sells would appreciate my saying this, but um, I think he's more liberal than Mr. Talmadge is. Now, what if he were to become the Republican nominee? Uh, would you then vote for Mr. Sells or Mr. Talmadge? Well, I'm not going to vote for Mr. Talmadge. I can't do that. But you said you were a Democrat. But at the same time, I'm not going to vote for the Republican and support him either. Uh, I. I am a Democrat because the Democratic Party, I believe, is the party of the people. It is, in fact, a party that is most responsive to the people. That's what happened in Chicago. The Democratic Party, I believe, is a barometer. When the people are very dissatisfied and disgruntled, the party is dissatisfied and disgruntled and shows this. Well, the people I think have there's spoken. a lot of. Excuse me. Excuse me. The people have spoken in this instance, and they have nominated Mr. Talmadge. He's gotten more votes than anybody up there on the board. 
Uh, how come you're not going along with the people? Well, I'm going along with... I'm being with... a dirty television reporter no, no, now, I think, here we go. Okay. I, think, I think your questions are well put. I'm going along with my people for you, and that is you've got 350,000 Negro voters registered in Georgia. Still, it's fewer uh, increase than any other southern state in the Negro registration, and yet... Of course, I like to look at votes as just votes from people. Right. I can't say how many Negro votes I have and how many white votes I have. There's no way for me to tell. And I'm glad there isn't. <clears throat> I am disappointed in the Negro turnout. I can't say why it was less than what I had hoped for. In Bibb County, I think about 33% of the Negro registered vote turned out. I do believe that, uh, at least in part, it may have been a feeling of futility. Uh, a feeling that I did not have any chance to win, and therefore, why bother? Uh, this is something I think we have to just work harder to overcome. Uh, I think that um, I'm not going to be discouraged about this. We'll just keep on working harder. You going I used to run to, again? When I run for something again, I'm sure, because I am attracted to politics by the issues, I'm sure that some issues will arise in the future. Well, I think there has been a very significant victory here tonight in Georgia. It is a victory because we have set an example of possibility for the entire nation by showing that here in Georgia, a race can be run by a man who had no prior political experience, by a man who was Negro, a man who campaigned throughout the entire state, who was well received, who was shown respect wherever he went. Uh, I think that the people of Georgia have borne out what I've said all along, and that is that Georgians have a strong heartbeat of decency and fair play. The only Mr. issue Jackson. in this race is whether or not the people of Georgia want someone in the Senate that can represent them in an effective way, that has had experience in government, experience in public service, experience in the executive branch of government, and experience in the legislative branch of government. That's what I have been doing. My opponents have had no experience of that kind. I'm sure that he got an enormous uh, vote from the Negroes, and he had some white vote also. That was to be expected, and I'm just thankful that I had as many friends as I had that rolled up uh, what's apparently going to be about a three-to-one margin for me. 221,485 for Talmadge, 69,000 for Jackson, 35% of the returns. Senator Herman Talmadge and his wife, Mrs. Talmadge, whom I usually call Betty, if she'll forgive me for doing so. And I could start out by saying congratulations on your race tonight, sir. Thank you very much, Al. Let me ask you this. It appears as though uh, Jackson did roll up a greater margin of votes than uh, your opponent did six years ago. How do you interpret this? My opponent six years ago didn't campaign. He didn't have all the favorable publicity that uh, Mr. Jackson had. He wasn't adequately financed as well as Mr. Jackson. So I really think uh, uh, that accounts for it. Well, you've been probably following returns as they came in this evening. Have you seen any change in voting patterns in Georgia? Well, we've been getting returns from all sections of the state, urban and rural. They've been running about three to one thus far. I think it's likely that that'll be about the result. Well, do you see an indication that the urban vote is having greater weight than the rural vote has? Well, the pattern of vote has been the same. Of course, more people live in the urban areas than live in the rural areas, and therefore it's a heavier vote. But the percentage-wise vote's been substantially the same, north, south, east, and west, urban and rural. Uh, Senator, the young man who challenged you was a Negro, and he did uh, solicit uh, strongly their vote. 
Do you feel that there was any break in racial voting, or have you had a chance to study the returns? I have studied that. Come up with figures of your own about how you expected the race to come out, and if so, do they differ, or did they differ from I those? don't know how many people are going to vote. I suggested to two or three individuals that I thought I'd run about three to one if we had a substantial voter turnout. Let me ask another question. Do you feel that the vote rolled up by Jackson indicates that you might have a, another uh, campaign that you'll have to be rather active in against your... Well, I, of course, hope that my friends that uh, came to my rescue in this effort will do so in November, and I hope they'll go to work and roll up an enormous uh, majority for me in uh, November as they did in September. Are you likely to campaign anymore? Oh, I... My opponents is say how he stands, but do you think the issues are likely to be different when you run against a Republican than they were when you ran against? Let's represent Georgia and the nation in the United States Senate. And I hope and believe that people of Georgia.